These are the AirPods from 2016, and these are the brand new AirPods with wireless charging case. Can you tell the difference? It's pretty much impossible to do so by just looking at them, but we're going to show you what's new and what isn't with Apple's latest AirPods. The cases look almost identical, but if you opt for the wireless charging case, which will raise the price from $159 to $199, you can see the LED has been moved from the inside to the front. This is so you can see the status of your AirPods when you set it on the wireless charging pad. Amber means it needs a charge, green means it's good to go. It should be noted though that the light goes away pretty quickly, so you can't just give it a visual glance. You need to pick it up and then check the status. Pull the AirPods out and you can see they're essentially exactly the same as they were before. Same golf tee design, same fit that doesn't go all the way in your ears, so if you love the old ones, you'll probably still love the new. Battery life is essentially exactly the same in the new AirPods as well, and that means 5 hours of playback time and as much as 24 hours in the case. The only improvement here is 3 hours of talk time instead of 2 hours, which is nice if you like to gab on your AirPods, but otherwise, it's a still solid 5 hours and 24. That looks pretty good now, but it may not look so good in a year or two. Touch controls are also the same, which in some ways is too bad because we would have loved to see some volume control added to the antenna part, as we've seen on some AirPods copycats. Like before, a double tap pauses and skips forward, and you can add some different features in the Bluetooth settings if you want to change that up. Also, as before, it pauses when you pull them out, but that only works with an iOS device. When it comes to sound, the new AirPods are essentially exactly the same as well. That's great if you like the sound of the old AirPods, of course, but if you're looking for more detail or definition, you won't find it here. That is, unless your old AirPods are gunked up with earwax. So what is different? Well, aside from the $40 wireless charging case, the biggest difference between the 2016 AirPods and the 2019 version is the H1 chip, which replaces the original W1 chip and adds some new functionality, including more features and better Bluetooth efficiency. If you love Siri, you'll love the new always-on Siri functionality, which allows you to use the digital assistant with just a simple Hey Siri command. It's fast and responsive, and also the only way to adjust volume without using your device. Other minor upgrades include faster connection times for calling and between iOS devices, a bit less lag for gaming, and some improvements in distortion when it comes to making calls in windy environments. Now those are nice, but we would have given up most of them for things like waterproofing, a more secure fit for the gym, and improved battery life. Bottom line, features like Hey Siri, speedier connection, and wireless charging are nice additions, but this is a modest update overall. If you're a big Apple fan and you're looking to get into True Wireless, this may be worth upgrading. But if you've already got some AirPods or you aren't that tied to the Apple ecosystem, you may want to look elsewhere.